Hello, this is Dr. Raul Nath, and in this video we'll be talking about uh, winging scapula and long thoracic nerve injury. The winging scapula describes a situation where the shoulder blade or scapula protrudes or sticks out the back, and that's caused in turn by a, an injury to the long thoracic nerve. The long thoracic nerve uh, starts in the neck, goes all the way down to the chest, where it controls a muscle called the serratus anterior, and that serratus anterior is located on the inside part of the scapula and holds it against the chest wall, as we'll see. So this is what a winging scapula looks like. It protrudes out the back. It affects shoulder stability and in turn that uh, affects the ability to lift the arm overhead. So typically we've got uh, an arm that will only go this high, sometimes a little bit higher, uh, but we have that plus the winging scapula in the back. The anatomy of the long thoracic nerve is that it starts up in the neck and just uh, corresponding to its name, it's a long thin nerve that travels down uh, the back and the chest to control the serratus anterior which then holds the scapula flat against the chest wall. The interesting part about uh, the long thoracic nerve also is that it's one of the few nerves uh, in the body that penetrates or traverses a muscle. So this is the middle scalene muscle that's up in the neck the long thoracic nerve traverses or goes right through the center of it and as such it's prone to getting compressed or stretched uh, in those uh, millimeters or several centimeters where it traverses a muscle and it's variable on each patient and when it gets compressed then the nerve doesn't work, the uh, uh, muscle becomes weak and the scapula wings out or protrudes out the back. The surgery that uh, we've developed for that is to cut the edge of the scalene muscle so that now the nerve is decompressed. We can see this before the nerve is compressed because it travels through the middle of a muscle that's active and uh, moves and tightens when you have activity of the shoulder. And now when you make a slight cut on the edge of the muscle, now the nerve is decompressed. Additionally, uh, we remove scar tissue from the nerve that forms in that area of compression. We remove scar tissue from the outside of the nerve, uh, but also from the inside of the nerve, and that's called neurolysis. Well, several years ago, I wrote a paper about uh, 50 consecutive patients um, who had this long thoracic nerve injury, and 95-plus uh, percent of them had a satisfactory result. This is our definition of a satisfactory result. This patient had a long thoracic nerve injury. He's a teenager um, who did the decompression surgery, and uh, afterwards we can see he's got a pretty full range of motion, and he is satisfied with that operation. This is a winging scapula. This young lady can only lift her arm to about shoulder level, and after surgery, we've got a pretty close to normal range of motion. Now, the paper I wrote uh, talks about the rapid recovery of the serratus anterior muscle after the surgery, the decompression and neurolysis. And in many patients, it can uh, work overnight. So this patient had uh, classic winging scapula with inability to lift the arm beyond about shoulder level. And here she is in the hospital the next day with a full range of motion. Now, if we look uh, closer at the numbers on the causation uh, of the winging scapula, see if we can get a better look at this slide. So, this is a total of 789 patients that have operated on over the past 25 years. And we can see the most common cause is sports and related activities. Uh, motor vehicle accidents also are a major cause of this injury. Uh, previous surgeries, uh, weightlifting, uh, activities related to athletics. Um, they can be birth-related and sometimes uh, from massage or even viral infections. So there are many possible causes of this uh, winging scapula and long thoracic nerve injury. They're all treated the same, which is the uh, surgery that we just talked about. So uh, when we did... Uh, a quality of life or satisfaction survey, 98% of patients reported good to excellent outcomes with this surgery. It's about a 45-minute outpatient operation, sometimes takes up to an hour, hour and a half, but 
typically it's less than an hour and uh, with an excellent success rate. So that's how we treat uh, long thoracic nerve injury and ringing scapula at the uh, Texas Nerve and Paralysis Institute.